What's up guys, Fusions here, and today we're opening up this Bakugan Diogen Rising Darkest Vylock Ultra. So, let's get started guys. So today we have this Darkest Vylock Ultra Bakugan. I think this is the only Vylock Ultra that was released. But before we open this up, we gotta open up a Bakugan Battle Brawlers booster pack. We do have a Darkest Nilius here, so keeping it with the theme of Darkest today. Um, let's see if we can pull some nice cards out of this pack. I'm not even going to mention what I want. Let's just pull some nice cards, hopefully. All right, let's see what we pull. We got Blinding Glam, Bone Defense, Water Slash, Wave Slash, pretty good card. Aquos Shield, oops, I skipped one. Cycling Light, Power Ritual, Garganoid's Gaze. Ooh, okay, we have a super rare Fierce Termination. Not bad. And then for the Hex, we have Consort, which is actually a nice card, but I feel like this one is not too relevant anymore because of the new year four uh, mythics and new Bakugan. They just have too many abilities that can do this, you know, for free. So that's, uh, that's a little weird, but that's the pack. Now let's get to this Bakugan. We have Darkest Vylock Ultra. I think this is the only uh, Vylock Ultra that was released. I don't think there's any other faction. And this one's actually pretty weird because I think this is an Amazon exclusive. I've never seen it in stores. So I got this on Amazon. Um, and I mean, look at the back of this. Yeah, this looks like an international release because it has a bunch of different languages. It doesn't even have the wave that it comes in. I don't think it even has a wave. I think it's just like it was just like a one Bakugan release and that's it. Not only that, uh, up here, this is supposed to be Vylock, but I'm pretty sure that's Nilius. So at least we opened a Nilius pack that went with this uh, Bakugan. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's definitely not Vylock Ultra there. We do have a character card, action card, gate card, and two Bakugors. You can barely see them. They're very tiny, but that's what we have in here. So let's get started. Let's open this up. By the way, guys, if you guys have not joined my Discord, make sure to go down in the description. There is a link to join my Discord. Um, we're getting so many people in there. The, the community is growing and uh, it's just fun. We talk a lot about Bakugan. Also, so you don't miss any news because the Bakugan Evolutions is literally about to release. Yesterday, I went to go hunt because there was one person... I don't know if it's multiple, but I think there was like some people that found uh, Bakugan Evolutions in stores now. So they're going to be released very, very soon. So any news at all, they're going to it's going to be in Discord. So make sure to join and uh, just hang out over there. Join the community. OK, so here we have uh, this little bag here and we have the Bakugan. We're going to leave the Bakugan for the end, like always. So let's see what's inside this bag. All right. I feel like I haven't opened an ultra Bakugan in a while. Or have I? I don't even remember. Okay, so let's open this. So yeah, like I said, if you guys want to get this one, um, probably only on Amazon because I've never seen it in stores and I'm pretty sure it's an Amazon exclusive. Okay, I actually just destroyed this bag. All right, so first, let's just take a look at the core since they're right on top. We have a green fist and a flame fist. So both fist here. We have a minus four damage for the flame fist and minus three damage for the green fist. So both uh, some little traps. We do have a a book really for this one. OK. Oh, yeah, because like I said, is international. So I think it has like all the languages to um, to play the game. Some instructions. We do have the um, how to close this Vylock Ultra. And it looks like there's full instructions, like all 10 steps. So it might be a little difficult to close this one. What else do we have? We have a list. OK, that's pretty cool of the I don't even know if this is the most updated list. This might be a little old, but there we go. We have that list now. Let's see. What do we have here? First, the gay card. Ooh, we have a Cyrus gay card. Uh, not even that exciting. I don't even know why I said ooh. gay card number 18. I have a bunch of these, so it's not really too exciting. First, we're going to take a look at the action card. So we got Raging Claw, pretty good card from uh, Secrets of the Geogon. So this is a little old um, for energy plus 800 B. Um, there's probably better cards, but some people might want to play this one. And now for the stats of this Darkest Vylock Ultra. And here it is. Ooh, that actually looks pretty epic there. It actually looks nice. 
as we saw flame fist green fist 700 b power one damage you do get shadow strike which is nice that means your stats cannot get lowered and then you do have an extra ability if you do land on a flame fist you get plus four damage so that can actually be kind of good uh yeah so if you land on a flame fist i think the best boosting uh damage flame fist is plus six so if you add all of that up you would be at 11 damage you can maybe squeeze this in 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 a uh, damage deck but let me know in the comments if you guys think this could be useful in a damage deck or not i mean it does also have some nice b power 700 is not too bad so it could be like it's kind of like um like you can kind of use it for both ways you can kind of use it for b power since it has nice b power and then damage if you really want to go that way but let me know in the comments what you guys think and here is the bakugan itself here we have darkest vylock ultra so this is brand new because like i said i think this is the only vylock ultra released and here it is let's take a look at it whoa that looks pretty crazy there's only the little it's like a very small uh like stomach or like i guess body there we have the four legs they're huge huge legs yeah there there they are all four and then we have the three heads all, all three heads with very nice detail look at that very very cool nice i think it looks pretty good it looks kind of weird i gotta say i don't know i feel like i like the uh core vylock more yeah I feel like the core of uh, Vylog looks a lot better. It just looks more simple and uh, it just looks nicer because this one kind of looks a little weird. Yeah, I think Vylog does not need an ultra form. I think just the core is a lot better. But what do you guys think? Do you guys like this one? Do you guys like how it looks or do you guys prefer the core Vylog? Let me know in the comments. But even if I prefer the core Vylog, I think uh, people would want to see more Vylog ultras like in more factions. And I would want to see that too, just to, um, you know, have them and collect them because uh, that's pretty cool either way. But now let me show you how to close this Bakugan. I think this is one of the most trickiest ultras to close. So follow along and see if uh, if you get it because it's it's actually a little difficult. So first we're going to put the middle head in and look at that. We reveal the darkest faction symbol. It's under the middle head. Now we're going to put these legs in the front in. We're going to push the body down while we push the front in. So it's kind of weird. That that movement is a little weird. And then you can hold this. So the whole front is already kind of in the shape. Now we go to the back part. First, the, the both heads go down. Make sure you're holding everything together at the same time. Yeah, everything uh, has to be held. There we go. Now the back legs, they both go up. Oops, got to put that back in. There we go. The back legs go up and then finish it by um, closing with the back part there we go like i said it's a little tricky I'm, I'm struggling a little bit but yeah this is a little tricky because it has so many parts i mean you can tell even in ball form i mean that's like a leg a head leg the back part that which is like a tail a, another leg head leg so lots of different parts that's why it's a little tricky now let's roll it onto a baku core and let's see how this vylock ultra opens up we've never seen it uh open up so let's see three two one bra and oh that was so cool it literally bounced did a whole flip and then because this moves it went back like that and it went forward that that looked pretty cool that is darkest vylock ultra so what did you guys think of this darkest vylock ultra i think it's uh it's a little weird but i don't mind it like i said i would want to see more vylock ultras in other factions i think that would be pretty cool but let me know down in the comments what you think of this one. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Bakugan content. Bakugan Evolution is coming very, very soon. So don't miss any videos. Subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace out.